coastal landforms. A coast refers to the land bordering the sea. A coastline is a boundary between the land and the sea. Various coastal processes such as wave action and sea level changes have been responsible for the various coastal landforms in East Africa and across the world. Particularly today we are looking at East Africa. But the coastlines are across the world. And we are seeing that the wave action and the sea level changes have been responsible for the various coastal landforms in East Africa. What is a wave action? Wave action or waves. Waves are ripples, stroke oscillation, which appears on a water body or water bodies. When disturbed, waves either move towards the coast or away from the coast. So, what disturbs the water body? We are saying there are quite a number of factors. We are looking at one, wind, volcanicity or volcanism, earthquakes, and quite a number of factors for us. Ships that move on the water bodies do cause disturbance that forces the waves to move towards the coast and off the coast. Swash. This is the forward movement of waves towards the coast. And it leads to deposition of sand, shingle, which is a mixture of small she, flat stones and sand. Then the backwash. This is the back movement of waves away from the coast into the lake or ocean or sea. And it leads to erosion of the coastline. So the swash that we have talked about is where now water as waves move from the water body to the coastline. And then the backwash is where these waves move back away from the coastline and they do form different futures the waves that we are seeing now the one that goes towards the coast that deposits and the one that goes off the coast that erodes cause different futures so in these processes right now we are seeing we have two the swash that we are seeing here that moves towards causes what we call depositional wave futures. Then the backwash causes or forms what we call wave erosion futures. In this illustration right now, we can see a simple illustration of a coastline or a coast. And the futures I rated here are the ones that we are talking about. In this diagram we have a mix of deposition wave futures and erosion wave futures. Highlighting a few. So under the erosion futures we have what we call a cliff which is this one. This is our cliff. Then we have what we call a headland where land protrudes into the water body. We have what we call a wave cut platform, which is this one here. Then we have what we call a bay, where water protrudes into land. This is our bay. Coming out. This is the bay, where we see water. Then we have what we call an arch. These are all futures formed due to wave erosion where now waves move off the coast as they do erode the backwash and the waves will have what we call the constructive and destructive waves so the arch also falls into the futures formed by wave erosion the stack too forms due to wave erosion and then the stamp. All these features that we see here are forming due to wave erosion. 
most so adding on is the cave the cave is also formed due to wave erosion so where we see waves eroding the coastline as it turns back due to the process of attrition hydraulic action abrasion and solution those processes lead to what we call erosion then we are talking about deposition in the same illustration right here we are also having features formed by wave deposition for example the beach this is our beach and the beach is what we see here where we see this sand those who have ever gone to the beach to relax we have what we call the dunes the sand dunes around this area deposited as we said waves deposit different materials for example the sand the gravel and the boulders plus silt as we shall see so here waves are depositing what we call sand forming the sand dunes we also have what we call the salt marsh this area here which is here these are salt marshes we also have what we call the spit where we see the sun protruding into water due to the oscillation of these waves and this is our speed this is the speed that we are talking about where we see sand this is our sun protruding into the sea or the lake so this is a speed and these are futures formed due to a uh, deposition wave deposition to add on more to those features we have what we call the tombola which is here around that area this is our tombola where we have sand and quite some vegetation around this area we have what we call a lagoon where a calm water is formed off the main water body into the land due to deposition of sand and this is our barrier that separates off that calm water from the main water body which is this one this is our main water body and then this is our lagoon calm water around that area so we have what we call also the barrier speed it's what we have just talked about in the earlier illustration this is our speed where we see sun being deposited around this area wave action waves are able to erode rocks through various processes for example hydraulic action where waters enter rocks cracks and air in the cracks may be compressed by the breaking waves causing the rocks to fracture the attrition this is where sea waves hollow or throw pebbles and then rocks borders against uh, the rock face of a cliff thereby eroding it this is where intense and strong waves throw the hard rocks onto the face of the cliff banging it and hence cracking it slow but sure causing what we call erosion lastly we have what we call solution some rocks near the rock coast are soluble for example limestone and where the coastline is made up of such a rock it is, would be eroded by chemical reaction of the water it forms and then it melts dissolves into water forming a solution and is easily eroded for example the limestone rocks features formed here include the arch the cliff the wave cut platform bays headlands caves arches stacks and stumps so we're seeing a cliff is a steep slope of a rock face along the sea coast it is formed as a result of waves eroding highland along the coast through a process like hydraulic action where a cliff tends to be undercut 
and in the time of the upper part collapses into the sea under its own weight. Wave cut platform, these are formed as a result of attrition, uh, where we see a cliff recession takes place. The base of the cliff is left behind as a platform of the rock. Materials deposited from the cliff may be deposited on top of this terrace, uh, like forming features. And we're seeing wave cut platforms are often visible only at low tidal bays and headlands. These are formed in areas along the coast where a soft rock lies between the areas of hard and soft rock. The sea does not erode soft rocks evenly with the hard rocks. Definitely the softer rocks are easily eroded compared to the hard rocks. And what we can see here is the sea has acted on this land and has formed different futures. Right now we can see what we call a stack. Initially this was the mainland connecting to this other stack. But due to the wave erosion, the notch was undercut and collapsed into. It started as a, a cave, later formed a notch, a notch collapsed. And then the island that is left up is a stack. So this is where the arch collapsed, forming what we call a star. What we see right here is a cliff, and then below is a cave. And the wave erosion or the wave action is continuously acting on this island. Uh, the mainland or the coastline uh, continuously eroding it, forming different features that we have talked about. What we see right there is wave erosion taking place this mainland is soon reducing in size. Let's move on to wave deposition of futures. Uh, these are futures formed where we see waves depositing different materials on the coastline. So we say the backwash erodes, the swash does deposits. For example, the beaches that are formed, as we can see down here. This is the main area formed due to the deposition of the sand. The sand dunes that we have just seen, the tombolo that we are seeing right here. These are features formed due to wave deposition. So what we see here is silt deposited by the waves. And then we see sand. And then we see gravel. And then we see boulders. These are uh, different materials are deposited due to different type of rocks around the coast, as we can see there. So we have softer, harder, quasite, uh, limestone, different rocks so the deposition depends on the different type of rocks as we said that the waves are different types we have the destructive and the contra uh, constructive uh, what we see there are waves and that is what we call the swash that is coming towards the coast then the backwash that is going back so those are the types of waves and these waves form different futures as we have talked about where we see the sun being deposited, forming a tombolo, forming a sand dune and a beach.